Hello and welcome to your Thursday edition of CMY Weathertainment. I'm your host, Jeff Matthews. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget you can see it live. It's interactive, which means you can actually comment to me and I'll see it in real time and we can talk back and forth. On live stream at 5.55 and we go to Periscope after that at 6.05 and you can get the complete forecast and everything else you want on CNYWeathertainment.com. Social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr can be found at CNY Jeff Matthews. Three weather headlines for you. The light rain from Wednesday night will linger into early for Thursday morning, kind of a damp and dreary start, but the hope is that the warm front will lift just far enough northwards to allow some hazy sun to burn through for a few hours, which would lead to very mild temperatures for Thursday afternoon and evening. It's also going to lead to thunderstorms Thursday night, so be aware of that. Most of the weekend looking pretty sweet. The temp trend. 47 is the average and climbing. Now on Thursday... It's going to be a wide range of temperatures. So what it's like in Forestport is not going to be anything like what it's like in Richfield Springs and Sherburn. The north-south distance is going to make a huge difference in the thermometer on Thursday. So Forestport, for instance, or Remsen, will be stuck in the high 40s. Otsego County will be in the high 50s and low 60s. So we kind of middle of the road of it there for you. Friday's high is going to occur before or right after sunrise. So most of the day, it's not going to be 52 going to be falling through the 40s and 30s and keeping on tumbling down throughout the daylight hours. Saturday, it'll take all day, but we'll recover back up into the middle 50s, which is nice. It'll be totally sunny out. Sunday starts off sunny, fades late with a high approaching 60, and then it gets cooler beyond that. We've got a complex situation here, my friends. Crazy. We have a high pressure system that brings warmth and clear skies to the southeastern third of the country, all the way out in the open Atlantic but it is being battled right over us by this high-pressure system going the opposite direction with its winds. So, we happen to be ground zero, where the moisture is streaming along that boundary, keeping us under cloudy skies. What's going to change that? Developing cold front here with the storm over Nebraska. The winds around the high go like that. Same up here, but for us, it's coming from the opposite direction because of the position of the high. But that storm has counterclockwise winds, which will push with this high to force that warm front a little further north, which for Thursday. You can see this plume of moisture over Oklahoma and Kansas. That's the developing cold front that's going to form a line of thunderstorms for Thursday night. So let's backtrack and see how we got here. This was Monday. The flurries over New York and Pennsylvania from the polar front. But I said it would link up with this warm front, which it in fact did. You can see the moisture has grown from Winnipeg all the way to New York State. So they've linked up and formed a stationary front. Waiting for this storm to move into the plains and that high to get to the coast to then combine forces to push some wind into the southern part of the warm front and push it into our backyard. It will not turn bright and warm north of Rome tomorrow, or rather for Thursday. It will stay overcast in Boonville and Remsen, Forestport, Saranac Lake, Lake Pleasant. Not a nice day. Right in the middle, along the thruway, Rome, Utica, you're on the border. There's an equal chance you could bust out into some hazy sun if the high is able to build that warm wind enough to chew away at the clouds. But for Otsego County and Southern Oneida and Trenango counties, it will bust out into hazy sunshine and very warm temperatures. Now, Wednesday, not far off from my forecast, 46 versus 44, and not far from the average. Daylight, 12 hours and 23 minutes, and continuing to grow, we add four more minutes for your Thursday. Now, it may not seem like it now, but this is the time. This is the time to get your pool put in or maintained and getting ready for the summer. And the best place to do that is Route 5 New Hartford Picture Perfect Pools. Proud supporter of the Utica Comets. You can find him on Facebook as well. So, now is the time to take care of that pool. And this weekend... Looks like a great weekend to get that started. To start Thursday, it'll be gray for the morning and cool and damp. I think some hazy sun from Utica southwards. The temperatures will depend upon if you see the hazy sun or not. The low tonight, Thursday night, will be today's high because it'll occur so late in the day. The temps won't go down Thursday night. And it'll be accompanied by rain and thunder. So look out for that after 7 or 8 o'clock. It'll end overnight, but then there still could be a lot of chaos in the atmosphere. It could still lead to a shower or two on Friday with falling daytime temperatures after early morning highs in the low 50s. A clear cold night Friday night, a sunny day on Saturday, beautiful. 
Sunday starts off sunny but fades with thunderstorms in the evening again. And a few lingering showers on Monday, which looks a lot like this coming Friday. So basically, late Thursday and Friday look a lot like late Sunday and Monday. That's your five-day forecast. Take it and make it a great day, my friends.